things changed in your life since the Music City Bowl, especially off the field? Uh, a little bit more attention, I guess, from uh, the Notre Dame fan base. I guess that's always something that uh, is something good to receive, especially being in a new position where you got to get comfortable real fast because that's a that's a high-profile position, and you know you learn about that real quick when uh when the when things change. So I was I was real appreciative of that, and it's a lot of support for the Notre Dame community as well as your teammates that. Uh, and uh, they're, they're behind you, and that's, a, that's good moving forward, and especially towards the season. You guys have some studs on the outside at receiver. I mean, you guys had them coming into spring, yeah. and now even more with the freshman class coming in. Which ones are your favorites so far? Oh, man, EQ uh, Equinemius is, is growing on me a lot. I think he's going to make a lot of big impact plays, as well as Miles Boykin is, is working at. Uh, getting better every day, and Jalen Guyton, let's not forget about him. He's doing well, too. So uh, the freshmen are definitely making an impact. Three, four, five, one, two. And you guys had Marcus Luttrell, the lone survivor, who the movie was based off of, come in and talk to you guys yesterday. Got to sneak in the back. What was your biggest takeaway message? Man, he uh, he was definitely instilled in us. There's a difference between being a teammate and then being on a team. Do you guys think you're a team, or do you all just play on a team? Please. Are you? You know what that means, right? I mean, you're willing to die. And, and take it all the way to the ground for each and every one of you. You're responsible for yourselves, man. And I, I mean, that's, that's nothing with that bonds for man. You get somebody out of line, and the senior man in here, ain't, when you walk into the locker room, don't let him know about it, you're wrong. It's constant communication is what I'm trying to get at, all right? You guys should be talking to yourselves nonstop. And the quarterback in here, man, you, you're kind of running the show, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's your job to get stuff done. And that whole concept that he, you know, went through and go and, and experienced is, is second to none. And for us to get a, a share of what he really, truly meant by being a teammate, besides being on a team, I think it's something that, that we all kind of took something from and uh, realized that we had a special bond on the team and, and know that we're, we're truly teammates. We know a lot about, a lot more about each other than we think. And uh, we appreciated his talk and, and took a lot from it. Hey, Fink, here we go. We worked on it. Go! Here's a setup for a punchline. If 2015 Notre Dame's gonna be national champions, Malik Zaire has to. Has to be consistent. Yeah. Has to be consistent. I think consistency is the key for not only myself, but for this offense. And uh, I just got to do my job and, and stay consistent and bring high, high energy and high intensity every day. And I think we, we can get the job done for sure. Love hanging out with you, brother. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care, man.